So some of the common, I guess, issues that are faced by small to medium business is some of the common ones that have been around for 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 quite a while. Um, and that's simple things like using complex passwords, not using the same password for every application or website that you're using, simple things like not recording those passwords in an area that everyone can access. Um, so some of these more basic things that we've probably all very well known about aren't actually getting addressed. Um, so that's probably a real basic level that people should be addressing like straight away. Uh, another area is probably people not knowing what they don't know. Um, like traditionally people have gone, okay, well, I know I need this certain security or this implemented. The problem is if you don't know what you need to address, you just don't know. Um, so that's a big one. So you can't address the problem if you don't know about it. Uh, another one is basically thinking once you've got some of the basics covered that you no longer need to worry about security. I've got this firewall, this antivirus, we've got two-factor authentication, we've got this list that my IT advisor has given me um, and thinking, well, we're done now, we don't need to worry about security anymore. The problem with that is security is a ever-evolving threat. Um, so you might be covered and well protected today, but it doesn't mean tomorrow that you're going to be in the same place. So it's something that you really need to think about, that it's an ever evolving game. Basically of cat and mouse between them trying to get in and you trying to protect your systems. Um, another thing that people probably don't, don't think of a lot or that is very common is we all look at the various security things and technology that needs to be implemented to keep everything secure. The problem is that the human element uh, or the human factor, uh, whatever you want to call it, is actually a potential weakness. Um, if you look at a lot of the security threats that have happened over over a long period of time now, one of the big issues is is people. Um, you know, they receive a simple thing of an email thinking it's from someone internally um, to go on action or do this, and that then opens up and all your security that you have in place basically becomes ineffective because it thinks someone internally is accessing what they need to, and thus it doesn't need to block or you know secure anything. Um, so that's probably a big one. And there is technology solutions that can help with that, but also needing to consider that it, it's in everyone. So everyone in the organization or company needs to be involved in that, and whether it's training or something else, um, it's not just a technology solution. It, it also need you need to look at people. Um, and another area is going, you know, a lot of a lot of companies basically go, well, you know, we're not experts in technology or information security. Let's outsource that to a third party, which makes a lot of sense because that's what they specialize in. The problem is you can't just pick any third party. Obviously, you need to do some research, make sure that they're actually the third party you're picking or the different third parties you're picking are well suited and actually going to keep things secure. Uh, so that probably gives you a, a few key things to consider. That was absolutely brilliant. That was that, really, really all right. good. Really I hope that's good. all right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, excellent. I, I, so let me I'm stop sure I stuffed that up once, but I thought that might. No, that was 